In a roller coaster season of nature and nurture, let's take a look at 2020's The Queen's Gambit. A. B. N. It's headphones steel! Notably, uh, the Netflix show The Queen's Gambit. So, for this particular review, um, there's not really much I wanted to say aside from the usual stuff of how the show was really well done. They portrayed chess in a very intriguing way, um, as far as from the point of view of uh, and flashbacks for Beth Harmon. So, I want to say that the show was overall done very well. We get to see her growth as a chess player and as a person. Um, in life, uh, notably through the various people in her life, starting with her mother and then going into her friendship with Jolene at the orphanage and then the various men in her life who she defeated who end up coming together to help support her in her final victory against the Russian grand champion Borgov. So overall, the show was very well done. It was well paced. I liked the back and forth of it. It didn't go too fast, didn't go too slow. And overall showed the trouble she had, not only with um, her impatience and wanting a quick victory in chess, but then also with her drug and alcohol abuse and the influence she had, or the influence her stepmother had on her as far as the drinking went. And then eventually overcoming it to realize that she was a good chess player, not because of the alcohol and drugs, but in spite of it. So even though they gave her a quick and easy path through to victory, it was not using them that gave her the ultimate victory she desired to become a grand champion and beat someone who was already good at the game, notably in Borgov. So overall, I want to say that if you have not seen The Queen's Gambit yet, then definitely give it a watch. All the characters and actors played their roles very well. You definitely feel for um, Beth throughout the season and the loss of her mom, eventually the with the loss and well-paid-off loss for uh, Mr. Scheibel, the janitorial janitor guy at the orphanage who taught her how to initially play chess. Um, her friendship with Jolene that started off very strong and ended up very well. Um, and, gen and generally the payoff with Benny as well as far as um, him teaching her and then the various other guys also teaching her various strategies and helping her understand that her way, while good, can be improved and made better if she stops with the drinking and alcohol and ends up fo focusing on her game, learning, is, learning various strategies, recognizing them early, and generally being patient about it and overall learning to reach her opponents in order to gain her victory. So that's all I really wanted to say. I mean, I enjoyed the season. It wasn't, like I said, it wasn't, didn't feel too long and too short. There were some episodes that were shorter than others in the middle of the season, which kind of paid off. But then when they end, you're like, that's it and want more. So once you get through those episodes in the middle, the last couple of episodes are a bit longer. So um, overall, they pay off nicely and the season is worth the wait to the end. Um, and then even at some point you wonder if she's going to end up, if uh, Beth is going to end up quitting and um, giving up, but it doesn't quite go that route, so that was a good sign there. Um, but all in all, definitely a good show to watch, um, and especially if you're a chess fan, but even though you're not a chess fan, you can you learn a little bit of the intricacies of different uh, moves, the various pieces, um, the strategies that go into it, the patience required, uh, learning to not only play your moves, but the moves of your, your opponents, and learning from what you uh, did, regardless of if you win or lose at the game. So that's all there really is for this particular review. Um, I just wanted to share my quick thoughts of recommending the show. Um, as I mentioned, there's not really too much to say because it was very well done and very well portrayed, not only from the personal aspect, but the professional side, the competition, the chess, and all of that. All the various elements were factored in very well, so not any one aspect was any better or worse than the other. <laughs>
So that's all there is for this review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in, and until next time.